Hey guys, um, so I normally don't do these kinds of videos. Um, this is honestly the first time I've ever done anything like this, so it feels like super awkward to me. Um, but I, I just wanted to take a couple minutes and share with you just a little word of encouragement um, that I felt like the Lord um, gave me today, um, and it spoke like volumes to my heart and so I thought maybe if I share it it will be encouraging to other people as well so um, I've always been that person that um, I've, I've always asked the question you know what am I doing with my life what am I doing am I am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing am I doing what God wants me to do right now am I in the place where God wants me to be and um, I feel like these questions have just constantly tormented my soul. Like, my whole life I've always asked that, even, you know, ever since college. Like, what am I going to major in? Do I really want to do this for the rest of my life? Is this what God wants me to do? And even graduating college, I'm like, crap, I hope this is what God wanted me to do. You know, I just spent like a bazillion dollars for this education. And i um, still not sure, Lord, you know. So I feel like I've always been that person. And um, so alongside of that, um, I've had some situations in my life, um, you know, past churches that I've worked for, other jobs that I've worked for, um, where I basically felt like um, I wasn't good enough or um, what I had to offer, it wasn't good enough. And um, so I feel like because of these situations that I've gone through, and because of the fact that I never really knew what I was supposed to be doing, um, I feel like I've carried that with me uh, my whole life of just feeling like I'm not good enough, you know? And I have to prove myself to others and I have to prove to myself that I, that I can do things and that I, I'm worth having around. And um, so it's been this like constant struggle for me my entire life. And um, honestly, guys, it's exhausting. It's completely exhausting. Um, and I've realized that over the past few years, like I've just been striving and like killing myself, trying to not just do one thing really well, but I have this like pressure on myself and expectations on myself that I have to do a lot of things really well just so that I can prove my worth. And um, a lot of it was to myself, right? I need to prove to myself. And it's exhausting. It's completely exhausting. And so, again, sorry if this feels like super jumbled. I think it'll come together at the end. But um, I was praying today, and um, I feel like a lot of my conversations with the Lord sound like this, but it was kind of back to that, like, Lord, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm not sure if I'm where I need to be. I'm not sure if I'm doing what you want me to do. Um, whatever. And so I'm praying these prayers. And, and, you know, something that I've prayed for ever since I was a little girl, I remember praying this prayer, is, God, I just want to be used by you. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I don't know anything for certain, Lord. But all I know is I just want to be used by you. And I felt like... Today, when I prayed that, I felt like God came back and answered me, and he said, Bethany, I am using you. And I was like, okay, you know? And I felt like he started just throwing back these, um, these instances that I've had recently, just um, reminding me of these things that have happened, people that have come up to me, um, talking about how, how much you know, our songs mean to them or how this song has really just impacted them in their relationship with the Lord. Or, you know, I had a couple um, women come up to me, two separate women on Sunday, just telling me how much they love the worship at Renew because it feels authentic and real and it doesn't feel like a show or a performance. And that, um, that Chris and I really do lead people into the presence of God. Um, we lead worship. We're not leading some kind of performance like I said and these women are saying these things to me and at the time I was like oh wow that's really cool you know thank you so much for that compliment it's such a privilege and an honor to be able to lead people in worship and 
and, and whatever. And so I thought it was cool that they said that. Um, but I felt like when the Lord reminded me of those things today, it meant something deeper because he was like, see, I am using you. And I just feel like no matter where we are, what we're doing, as long as we're being obedient to Christ and what he's called us to do now, today, and if we're walking in tune with the Holy Spirit, he's using you. And you might not even hear half the stories of how God is using you in other people's lives, but he's using you. And so I felt like he spoke that to me. It was really powerful. And so then I came back to God and I was like, but God, is it enough what I'm doing, where I'm at? Is it enough? And I felt like he could have come back and said, of course, Bethany, like you're doing, you're doing what I want you to do right now. You're in a good place. You're doing, you know, it's fine. You're doing great. But he didn't say that. He said, Bethany, you are enough. You are enough. And that just like spoke volumes to me because my whole life it's been about proving myself and trying to meet my own expectations along with the expectations that I feel like everyone else has for me. And I just felt like he was like, Bethany, you don't have to prove anything to me. You don't have to prove anything to me. You are enough. It doesn't matter what you do or where you're at, or what you say, you are enough. And so I just hope that that maybe is a um, word of encouragement for some of you who are just striving and killing yourselves, trying to prove your worth, um, not only to others, but to God. Um, and I just want you to know that you are enough. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> you are enough. It doesn't matter what you do. And so First thing is just be who you were made to be. Be um, who you're made to be and, and bloom where you're planted. I know it sounds cheesy, but don't worry about trying to be someone else or do something else that you think matters more than what God has you doing now. Just be who God made you to be. Do what he wants you to do now. And then the second thing is be encouraged that if you are walking in tune with the Spirit, and you are being obedient, he is using you. So just remember that and remember that you are enough and you don't have to prove anything to God. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. <laughs> so um, hopefully that's just a word of encouragement to you. Sorry, this is a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Um, so if you actually watch the whole thing, I'm very impressed. So um, have a good day guys. Um, I'm praying for you and um, yes, be blessed.